In the last vision experienced by Padre Pio, Saint Padre Pio was in a state of profound exhaustion after a prolonged and fervent battle against evil forces and illness. This battle had left deep marks on both his physical and spiritual being. His stigmata, as a sign of his union with the suffering Christ, still bled. However, at this moment, we would like to request a gentle favor from all of you to join us in our cause by sharing and expressing your support. Saint Padre Pio was absorbed in prayer one night when he heard a voice calling him. This sweet and familiar voice was that of the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. Saint Padre Pio looked up and saw a bright light enveloping his room. In the splendor of this light, he recognized the figure of the Virgin Mary dressed in a radiant blue mantle, resembling a heavenly queen. My son, exclaimed the Virgin Mary with a smile, I come with extraordinary news. Your sacrifice has been pleasing to God, and soon you will be with him in his glory. I have walked by your side at every moment of your life, and now I wish to share with you something genuinely supernatural. Saint Padre Pio was flooded with indescribable joy. Without yet knowing what the Virgin Mary would reveal to him, he placed his complete trust in her. He rose from his bed and approached the Virgin Mary like a child running to his mother. The Virgin Mary took his hand and led him out of his cell. To the astonishment of Saint Padre Pio, he discovered that there was no one else in the convent hallway, it was as if time had stopped, and in that moment, only they existed. The Virgin Mary led him to the chapel where the altar and tabernacle dominated the scene. With a gesture, she opened a door hidden behind the altar and took him to a secret chamber. It was filled with writings, letters, maps, images, and enigmatic objects, like a kind of clandestine library guarding the deepest secrets of history. In this sacred place of revelations, the Blessed Virgin Mary shared her purpose, here is the evidence of what the world ignores or prefers to overlook, here lie the truths that have been hidden or distorted by those who have manipulated history for their own benefit. Padre Pio was perplexed and unable to understand why the Virgin Mary had led him to this place and what her connection was with him. My son, you are one of the few blessed with the gift of mystical vision, continued the Virgin Mary kindly. You have had the privilege of glimpsing what others could not discern, scrutinizing the hearts of men, revealing their sins and virtues. You possess the ability to foresee the future and warn the faithful about imminent dangers. You performed miracles and healed the sick. Padre Pio humbly accepted this acknowledgement. Despite having received extraordinary gifts from God, he had never become proud of his greatness. He used his gifts exclusively to do good and guide souls on the path of salvation. However, the Virgin Mary hinted that he had not yet discovered everything God had reserved just for him as a reward for his loyal service to the end. Now, I wish to reveal something supernatural, announced the Virgin Mary as she pulled an ancient manuscript from the chamber and handed it to Padre Pio. It was the secret Gospel of John, the most ancient of all, written by the Apostle who had rested on Jesus' chest during the Last Supper. This Gospel unveiled actions of Jesus not found in the other Gospels, revealing the true essence of Jesus, His unfathomable love, divine wisdom, and sovereign power. Padre Pio received the secret Gospel with profound respect. Even though he did not understand the language in which it was written, the Virgin Mary reassured him. Do not worry, I will assist you in understanding it. I will read some passages that will reveal the truth about Jesus. With sweetness, the Virgin Mary began to read from the secret gospel, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. 
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. With profound astonishment, Padre Pio listened to the Virgin Mary's words. Though familiar with these expressions through the Gospel of John, they now acquired an exceptional intensity and clarity, as if Jesus himself were communicating directly with his heart. These words are genuine truth, affirmed the Virgin Mary with conviction. Jesus is truly the Son of God, the promised Messiah, the Savior of the world, he came to manifest the love of the Father, to absolve sins, offer eternal life, and free the world from sin and death. Padre Pio felt deeply moved, he had loved Jesus with total devotion and had followed him to the cross. But now, he felt an even deeper connection. Who was Jesus, and how much did he love him? However, the Virgin Mary continued, there is more you must know. Padre Pio was astonished. How could Jesus refer to himself in the secret gospel? The Virgin Mary opened another page of the secret gospel and recited, One day, Jesus turned to his disciples and said, Truly I tell you, among you is one who will follow me until the end of times, one who will bear my stigmata in body and spirit, one who will be persecuted by the world but sustained by my grace one who will be my faithful witness, my beloved friend, my beloved son. The disciples exchanged looks of amazement and bewilderment. Who was this person Jesus spoke of? But the name was not revealed, Jesus simply said, this is the sign you will recognize. He will have the gift of mystical vision, see things others don't, read the hearts of men, discern their sins and virtues, foresee the future, warn the faithful of impending dangers, perform miracles, and heal the sick through prayer. Padre Pio was astonished, he realized Jesus was talking about him, he had been chosen by Jesus to follow him to the end of times. Yes, my son, it is you, confirmed the Virgin Mary. Jesus has known and loved you from the beginning, chosen you for an extraordinary mission to be his spokesperson in the world. He has endowed you with exceptional gifts to be his instrument. Overwhelmed, Padre Pio asked, Why me? I am a humble friar, a sinner, a nobody. The Virgin Mary replied, You were chosen because of your faith, love, and humility. You believed in Jesus even without seeing him, loved him without touching him, followed him without fully understanding him, accepted his will without objections, endured his trials without complaints, offered your sufferings unreservedly, prayed tirelessly, served without expecting anything in return, obeyed without rebellion, and remained faithful unto death. Thank you, mother, said Padre Pio, overwhelmed with emotion, do not thank me, replied the Virgin Mary. Thank Jesus, who loves you deeply. The Virgin Mary embraced Padre Pio tenderly. You will see him soon, she said. He will also embrace you. I love you, mother, expressed Padre Pio. I love you, my son, replied the Virgin Mary. She then blessed him and said, Goodbye, my son. We will meet again soon. God be with you, mother, said Padre Pio. Pray for me. Padre Pio returned to his cell, lay down on his bed, closed his eyes, and fell asleep, never to awaken again.